Hello stranger, it's been a minute since we last kicked it And by the way, just got in town And I won't let cumulus clouds all in the sky we are in Barcelona, a Mediterranean city known for its excellent cuisine, lovely weather, jolly Spaniards. Come with me as we explore the city on our first ever Euro solo trip. Hola, señores and señoritas. Como estas? Moi estoy bien. I just said moi is more of Spanish. I know moi is French, but it's a part of Spanish. Yeah. Me, I'm Esto Bien Gracias. Yeah. So we are in Barcelona. Today is officially day one in Barcelona. And I'm living in the outskirts of Barcelona. I'm living more or less like I am manip Yo. Municipality. Mini. Aha! La Calore. <laughs> La Calora, I am living in the greater side of Barcelona. Yeah, our hotel is based on the greater side of Barcelona, which is probably like an hour, an hour and a half by train. So, plan today is to go to the real Barcelona, the city center, and just do some sightseeing. So, I didn't plan anything in specific, just told myself. I'm gonna wake up, catch the train, and we'll see what we're doing when we get to Barcelona. And hopefully, we don't get lost. I am feeling quite excited and a bit scared about the trip because it's my first solo trip, and I'm trying to like explore a lot of stuff, see a lot of stuff, but at the same time, try to avoid being lonely. Yeah. So I'm just gonna hop on the train once I get to Barcelona, figure out where I am and see what I'll do. So I'm planning on buying some data because I have a little portable Wi-Fi, uh, like a portable Wi-Fi modem. It's from 3, but unfortunately it looks like it's not working in Spain. So I'm probably gonna buy data and see if it'll work here, if it will room for me and then if not i'll probably go get a sim card so i can be able to like use google maps around yeah so i'll just show you guys my outfit in a few moments uh, the next train to barcelona is at 27 past 11 so i think the time now is probably like 10 past so i just wanted to introduce the vlog before I start showing you guys touristy sides and let's do this but before let me show you guys my outfit so this is my outfit for the day it's a body dress and have some waist beads with it yeah some waist beads with it and long sleeve polo neck and I'm wearing some trainers because I'm gonna do a lot of walking probably like in the city center and I'll be taking a small cardigan with me in case it gets chilly and a little backpack because I took some food and water for the day but yeah we'll see how it goes so I just wanted to show you guys my outfit and let's get going
guys. So I'm in Barcelona and I decided to take a city bus tour because I feel like it's much easier for me to take a city bus tour, especially that I'm alone. So I can tour like the tourist sites without getting lost. Yeah, so we're currently waiting for our bus to come in and then I'm gonna do those few stops. So apparently the bus goes around for like two hours and the ticket is valid for 24 hours so I'm gonna be doing those tourist sites and then probably take some content take some pictures and yeah because I want to go back home not home to the hotel in time probably six o'clock if I can leave Barcelona I think around eight nine o'clock I'll be back at the hotel so yeah the weather has changed when I left Margaret the bar it was sunny but now it's cloudy and there's rain being expected soon so yeah let's do this hopefully it doesn't rain because I want to sit on top of the highest deck so I can be able to see like, the tourist sites properly and I'm wearing my cardigan now because it's freezing, it's cold and the African in me is freezing. Luckily I'm wearing like a long dress and it's much easier for me to get some warmth because if I was wearing like a short dress I was gonna be freezing by now. Hey guys, so just got on the bus. The light is just got on the bus and we're about to start our city tour. I'm excited. Let's see how this goes. Hopefully, I'll stop at some places and then take some pictures and maybe eventually not because with the ticket, you're able to like hop on and off, and then every 12 minutes, the bus comes that you can connect with to your next destination. That is that and voiceovers for the places that I didn't stop by. So this is La Tisión, a memorial arch in Barcelona, Catalonia, Spain. And it was built by architect Josep Yasiska y Casanova in 1888 for the Barcelona World Fair. And it promenades in Passier de Louis companies leading to the Siete de la Park and occupies the site for the World Fair and is facing the Passier de Saint Juan. So let's go to the next site. So, next we headed to the Port Olympique, which is a marina located on the east coast of the Port of Barcelona and it hosted the sailing events for the 1992 Summer Olympics. So, we got to see super yachts and I regret not stopping here because I could have taken some pictures here, but anywho, off to the next tourist site. So next we headed to Barcelona Beach which offers miles of soft golden sand and an endless horizon of dark blue clear waters in the district of Catalonia in Barcelona. The beach is located in a traditional fishing district in Catalonia and it is quite famous for its traditional Spanish cuisine and tapas restaurants. So it is literally famed for cultural local that offers plenty of activities for families to do. So I didn't step out here because it's too cool for me and we're off to our next destination. When I guess where we're off to, so we're off to the Basilica de la Sagrada Familia, commonly known as Sagrada Familia, which is a Roman Catholic minor basilica located in Barcelona. The history of the Sagrada Familia is that it's still under construction and the masterpiece all took place in 1874 when a local organization began campaigning for the construction of a church honoring the Holy Family. After a couple of years of planning and drawing up plans, the church's cornerstone was officially laid on the 19th of March in 1882. This 19th century church, which is still incomplete, has been an architectural marvel and an 
UNESCO World Heritage Site. So if you want to read more, just Google it up and is one of Anthony Gaudi's Marvel's Anthony Gaudi's work. So I took some pictures here. Hey guys. So just finished okay. shooting some content at the Sinclair and Upper Media. And just gonna catch my bus to go to the next stop. And looks like it's Park Well. I think I've shot enough content for today in pictures actually because I just wanted to come and take pictures. But I've shot enough content and just gonna catch the next bus to the next tourist side and we're gonna go ahead. I'm walking against the sunlight so that's why probably you guys won't see me. So I'm gonna catch the bus and get going. Hey guys, so I'm on the bus to our next destination and guess what? My ticket was nowhere to be found and I was panicking because I paid like 30 euros for that ticket and I'm like ah. So I was already on the bus and I was like, let me find it. And then I just couldn't find it. And I'm like, let me leave the bus so you guys can go or catch the next bus to our destination. And then I started finding it outside. I was panicking. It was like a scavenger hunt. And then finally I found it. So we're now on our way to... Let's see. We're now on our way to the Cien Modinista de San Pau. Yeah, we're gonna stock up Pagua as well as Tipadao. Tipidao. <laughs> So I'm trying to find Parkwell and surprisingly I'm getting lost. My data just won't connect. So I don't know what to do. Yeah, the sun is actually very warm. Yeah. Excuse me. Hello. Hi. Are you trying to find the park? park to <laughs> yeah, we do. We just Google that. I will tell you in a second. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> uh, we just we just kind of. We found a tennis club. <laughs> yeah. Good. <laughs> it's well if you were to get it. Is that okay? Yeah. Five minutes. Okay. Five minutes walk. Okay. Okay. Let's see where we are. One second. Walk room. Because I've been trying to put on Google. It's just not going through. Yeah. Oh no, we can see this way. <laughs> but you can go this way by the one there. Hey guys, so walking towards the park well after Google Maps. Google Maps decided to 
threw us into the street and it's a very steep slope so my legs are exhausted at this point and the sun is out are we in the wrong direction again? <laughs> It's actually not bad. I'm finding it quite easy. I know if it's because I took a city tall bus. I'm actually seeing most of the sights that I wanted to see. I feel like if I took public transport, I'd be a mess by now. Okay. Behind us. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I'm saying we have to change the. Matong, ko pa kama do sa mako. Hell, we've been going up a slope for minutes and ending. And my legs just won't give me a chance. <laughs> what? It's sold out. <laughs> All this climbing for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, to see that. Yeah. Wow. Hey guys. So I'm walking back to our bus stop because it turns out there are no tickets to enter Parkwell and the next available tickets are on Tuesday so there's no use for me to be like loitering around so I'm just gonna walk back so we can go to the next destination I think time is going and I already want to I already want to go home I want to go to the hotel and rest yeah the weather is warm I could have swam if I was an art in Barcelona I'm loving the architecture I'm loving basically the landscape it looks a bit dry but at the same time it looks green and lush so yeah there are actually cactuses growing here I've never seen a cactus in the UK yeah and some plants that grow in Botswana let me show you guys these plants <laughs> those yellow trees I know what they're called but yeah I've been seeing some I've been seeing some thorny trees too excuse my hair I've been seeing some thorny trees too and looks like the climate is quite conductive because it's let me check the temperature last time I checked the temperature was like 17 degrees Celsius and it's actually hot and boiling what animal is that it's actually hot and boiling the weather is good the weather is nice oh, this is nice can't believe I'm going back to the UK after this <laughs> So 
So next we headed to Avinguda Diagonal, which is a diagonal of Ignu, which was created to allow efficient traveling within the city center. Passed by Casa Baldo, of which at this point I was tired, exhausted, and just wanted to go home. So we're back to Plaza de Catalunya, where I did do a little shopping pass through the shops of which it was too packed for my liking there were a lot of tourists there were a lot of people shopping so i decided nah let's let's go home let's go home so let's continue this vlog hey and so see the next few steps I've left the bus for the day and ah, orange Orange, orange, I'm going to show you guys in a minute. So I'm at the bus and I'm walking to Primark, trying to see if I can get anything. And then after that, I'm going to get like some touristy stuff. I don't know if I should get like t shirts or I should get like keychain holders. But I'll see. The loads of doves here. They are literally everywhere. Yeah, let me show you guys orange. Can I get like a game? Orange, hello, ma. Orange, hello. Let me show you guys where the orange is. So, there's orange. I'm not walking in that direction, but I just wanted to show you guys where orange is. And then I kept going. Ooh, some balloon. Why am I seeing balloon? Some bubbles. I just took off my waist beads and my wig because I had a wig. Yeah, so basically this was my Ooh, girl. This was my outfit for the day. I feel like it's not showing you nyash fully. Yeah. <coughs> yes. <laughs> so I'm gonna 
shower and then yeah i think i'm probably gonna end this vlog here let me end the vlog properly hey guys so i'm just gonna end the barcelona vlog here i'm exhausted i'm tired and the last thing i want to be doing is vlogging for my supper so i'm just gonna end the vlog here and we got to experience a lot of new stuff while traveling solo traveling barcelona it was nice it was a great experience but we'll catch up with that one so if you're a new subscriber do not forget to like subscribe and comment press that notification bell so you can be notified each and every time that we publish a new video and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for returning back to our channel i acknowledge and i see uh, your influence into my channel and thank you guys so much and yeah let's end this vlog here and we'll see you tomorrow hello stranger it's been a minute since we last kicked it and by the way just got in town and i won't let you meet this cloud it's all in the sky